Are you looking for a new action camera but don't want to buy the GoPro? You're gonna have to check this one out. What's up everyone, this is Ghost of Vergara back again with another video. Thank you for watching, really appreciate it. This is gonna be another partnership type video with Duma Life, this channel, and my other channel, What's New Ghost of Vergara. I know I said I wouldn't do any reviews. I put all my reviews on What's New Ghost of Vergara, but when it's a product or service that can help expats or business people, I'm gonna put it in both channels. Shout out to Kevin from Victor for reaching out and sending me their new camera, the AC920. The AC920 from oh <laughs> that's upside down from our friends from victor so so basically i'm going to test out this camera it's nighttime right now um you're gonna probably, i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna just go over the features it has what comes in the box basically regular unboxing and at the end of the day how it can benefit you and how it looks because at the end of the day because everyone beginner vlogger intermediate maybe not so much professional always looking for other options to capture their story their journey uh, and everything else in between so this might be an option for you so let's see what we get in the box this is the victor AC 920 box up here oh that's not part of that so let's see what we get in here we get the user manual we'll have to read this later uh, this this has loads of information it's gonna take some time but um, we'll get back to this as always we have the Victor. Thank you. Appreciate you. This I will probably read because it says quick. So let's go through it real quick. As always with Victor, a lot of things. So here is the camera right here. Now compared to the AC700, it's set up like the GoPro, the original GoPros where it's um. AC700 had a little click here. This one is very simple. Just click off and right, right there. And the unit is there. Now, the great thing about uh, these is um, touchscreen. So, I'm going to test it out. Show you guys. Let's see what's in the accessories right here. Okay, let's just pull this out. I don't want to rip up the box. Let's throw the box to the side here a little bit here. Autofocus is crazy here. So, I guess this is a mounting is a mount of some sort but I, I this is probably for when you don't have a um, when you don't want to put it in the case I, I I would think so the remote pretty cool more attachments there's some attachments attachments different angles oh this is a uh, extra mounts you can see you get two more attachments right here great thing about Victor is a lot of attachments there's your charging cable right here you get a strap of some sort here this is what I'm talking about it goes with this so you can just uh, if you want it outside of the case more attachments extra 3m double-sided tape here or tape and some zip ties and a cloth this is for, I guess, handle or bicycle mount. Oh, it's like endless over here, non-stop. More straps, more straps for you. More mounts right there. Oh, this is pretty cool. You get, a, just like the AC700, you get a lavalier mic. Very cool. This one actually is pretty good because it's a USB connection right here out rather than like a 3.5 or the 2.5 they used before is there any more batteries we get two batteries amazing that's pretty cool 
And this is a non-waterproof case right here. Pretty cool. We'll test out the camera. Let me find a memory card that we can throw in here and then we should be good to go. So the actual feel of the camera, it is plastic, super light. It is very light right now. I'm not gonna take this off as of yet, but allegedly this is touchscreen, so I can't wait to move and play with this right here. And um, we'll see. So on the camera, you have your HD out, HDMI out here. And uh, this can be used for the, I guess, microphone. And this is your SD card right here, SD slot. And this is your SD slot right here. Pretty cool, volume up, volume down. Well, let's turn this thing on and go through the settings. So let's slide the SD card in here. That is your battery compartment right there. Let's just try to take this off. Let's see, if this, let's see if one of these batteries has some charge here. And right there, put it in. Snug, very snug. Okay, so you turn it on from there. It's pretty much set up like a GoPro. Okay, there it is. Is this the enter right here? We'll go English. Ooh, touch screen. And we should be good to go. Okay, there it is. Also, it's, it can go 4K 30. Now, let me put this to the side real quick. Okay, I just want to go through. I just want to go through the settings here real quick with you guys. So, video resolution. It can go to 4K 60 FPS. 2K. And with this buttons right here, can we go down? It can do full HD at 120, 60, 30, 720 at 240 FPS, 720 at 120, and 720 at one. Jesus, there's so much. There's a lot. I'm gonna go through all these options right here. As for now, let's go for that right there. I'm gonna shoot with that right there. Okay, so the video rec record. Of course, obviously on EV. I love that. That's exposure, and I'll just leave that to zero. You guys, I guess, is that image stabilization? Let's put that on for now. Loop record. Let's take that off right now. Pretty intuitive. The touchscreen is pretty intuitive. Timeline interval, fast motion video. Ooh, pretty cool. Let's go back for now. Okay, what else? What else? Can we scroll? No. Oh, there is a scroll. It's pretty intuitive here. Let's go to settings, power frequency. You can do 50 hertz or 60 hertz. Pretty cool. Shutter on, boot up on, these are the sounds. White balance, auto, pretty cool. Effect, ooh, black and white, so you got, you got some, you got some color schemes here. For this little bit of camera to do that, I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. Let's put it on a tripod here, and then we'll, we'll see how it goes. The great thing, off the bat about this camera without even going into it right now is that this little screen right this little screen it's touch screen so and I play with it it's pretty intuitive it is pretty like it, it's spot on I want to see the coverage of this tomorrow when I take it out and everything like that I'm really excited to test this out because because it seems as if this thing packs a punch you be the judge of it I'm not gonna see anything until post edit so I can't really judge right now but I can tell you, it it's it seems like it's gonna work out. It's gonna it's gonna be really good. If you are looking to get good audio quality, honestly, like like this camera, it's probably not gonna happen because you have to actually set it up with a rig and all that stuff. But for action shots, very good to go. Put it in your pocket. This is pretty much the rig you want to go with, and it might be a really good. Uh, GoPro 8 or 9 uh, alternative, right?
And just like the Victra cameras I had before, it comes with boatloads of accessories. It really does. I'm telling you right now. Check this out. If I can put it on one hand. So, you got... I don't... Look, look at this right here. <laughs> you talk about accessories. Check this. Look at this, dude. Come on, man. How can you go wrong with that? It's a deal already, man. Look at this. Look at this, man. Look at that right there. And, and... It comes with two batteries. This is one. I got one in here already. So, already for someone who's like a beginner, who wants to start out, doesn't want to spend north of $300 or more for certain rigs and setups and stuff like that, this might be the best option for you. I'm going to put the links down below for prices and stuff like that. Full disclosure, I am an Amazon affiliate, so you might throw a few bucks at me if you purchase it, which I appreciate you. It really do helps the channel a lot. It is about uh, almost 11 o'clock at night, so I am not going to be going outside. However, this is going to be set up for tomorrow. It's right here. So it's the Victure AC920 on my Manfrotto. This is a super basic setup right here. You know what I'm saying? Super basic setup right so super crazy right there already dude so let's take some initial shots here with this uh camera um i turned it on already so but it looks pretty clean on that two winches right there i'm picking up the audio you should be picking up is the the um on the fuji a uh, road video micro but the image right now is this victor right now it's um 4K 30 FPS right now, so the same resolution as the camera right now, but the image you're looking at right now is the picture. I don't know what it's going to look like post-edit or whatever, but I just want you to know that if it comes out great, this might be a great alternative to the GoPro. So tell me what you guys think. Comment down below. For you expats, um, even entrepreneurs out there that want to do YouTube, for you expats out there, this might be a good camera, good alternative to, to you know, to go around town, to go around thing inexpensively, affordably. It might be this option. If it looks like anything on the um, on the two inch screen right here, it should look very decent, right? Um, that's what I'm saying. So the audio is being picked up by the Fuji but I just want to see the stabilization of this Victor AC920. I'm going to use this as a stability shot, so I'm going to turn it around. The audio, once again, is on the Fuji. So I haven't color graded anything here, and as you can see, it does really produce some decent colors for the camera it is, and the cost of the camera as well. So these are just some shots I took with the camera. As you can see, at 20 megapixel, it is a pretty decent camera. It takes some stills. So this thing's recording right now. Um, I don't know what the visuals are. However, once again, the audio is on the Fuji. This is at 1080, uh, 60 FPS. So you yeah, have the fast movements right stability and everything but I wanted to see what the how much um, how much you capture in the video here there's my niece hiding but basically um, this is all, all around this is a very good all-around camera if I go back onto the Fuji as you can see the setup right here very very small very put in the pocket type stuff pretty good but yeah we are at my sister's choice of um, coffee shops here locally in Long Island. It's right there. Sergey's Coffee and Roast. But, yeah. So this is 1080 by um, 30 frames per second. And as you can see, it does, it, for me, it looks kind of just, just a tad bit less detailed than the 4K. Obviously, because it's 1080. However... It does look like it's not as cropped as the 4K, but you're never gonna see it because if you're if you're doing not, most of us are not gonna be doing side by sides, but if you are just you know for the sake of memory or you don't really you're not into shooting 4K, I think this is great. 
it does provide you with a wider shot i'm gonna let her walk around with it like um just to walk around with it around around the parking lot and things like that and this is her being a kid playing around so it does appear as if it's catching more in the shot and even with her running around crazy it's still decently holding its um its image the stabilization I really appreciate her running around. Oh man, she's so, she's growing up to be such a beautiful young lady. So these shots, I just wanted to let my niece run around with the camera because most of us are going to be doing this actively, and I didn't want to run around. She did. She's she's full of energy. This is at 4K, 30 frames per second, and look how beautiful my niece is. And yeah, she's gonna walk around. She's balancing. She's doing kid stuff. She's doing things that we are normally gonna do with this with these type of cameras right and as you can see the image is still beautiful i particularly like it i love the colors the colors are very good for me um she has a nice sweater that's like a maroonish thing it's still popping out not it's not too uh, bleached out for me or washed out i'm sorry and the greens are ver very very good so the whatever color signs they used here for you know I'm, i keep focusing on the price but you think about it for the price that you're spending for this particular camera, how much better can you really, really get? And and this image stabilization is on. As you can see, she's jumping up and down, and you just can't go wrong. We're gonna walk around here for a little bit. Hopefully, uh, we don't get um pushed out here. But yeah, we're gonna go behind there by the dunes, I guess. And then we're gonna see how this camera does walking around. I hope I don't get no sand in my shoes. I really hope so. So for the price of the camera and the look of the camera, it's a pretty decent camera. I believe with a little bit of color grading, I think you should be fine. And in this shot, the image stabilization is off and the next shot it will be on. But I don't think you can really go wrong for the price of this camera. I think it's a good buy for those of you who are looking for an action camera. So this shot is pretty much a shot most of us will get when we're doing vlog style videos. And as you can see, it's really holding it well. The stability is there. And although I would love to have more um, material in there, I can't complain. So I was contemplating whether to keep the audio from these shots. However, they came out very bad. It's in a waterproof case. so. It doesn't really even matter about the audio quality because it's going to be poor regardless. But the main thing I wanted to show you guys was the image quality of this action camera. For pretty much half the price of a GoPro, I think it's a great buy. As you can see, the greens, the greens are pretty, they're, they're pretty vivid. And this is the normal setting. So oh, I got some, uh, some flair there, but I do wish they had a wider version, but I think because this is 4K 30, it's kind of cropped in. There's my beautiful wife over there. Oh yeah. But this shot right here, as I'm coming up, I'm, I'm sorry, coming down the road, is still holding it very steady. And I really like this feature because if you're gonna do some type of cinematic shots or you're walking to a particular, let's say, mountain, going through a trail. I think that's going to be very beneficial for you, the stability within this camera. This one, I was actually waiting for my niece to come out of the bathroom. You know, the girls to come out of the bathroom. And I'm on a swing. And the next shot's going to be just, just me having fun with my niece, um, playing around in the swing and things like that. But in this particular shot, the swing, the swing is actually moving back and forth and it's, it's holding its ground when it comes to stability. There's my beautiful niece coming in. Look at her. But basically, um, we were just playing around, doing our thing like most of us will do with this camera. And as I'm moving backward, because I don't want to get kicked in the face, it's literally holding this, the, a stable image. And that's what I wanted to accomplish here. So this is a downhill trail into a like a rock shore area in Montauk. If you guys have been there, I'm going to come up with a vlog soon for our trip there. But as I said before, 
colors decent. I'm sure with a little bit of color grading, you can make it look awesome. And the stability is still there. This, as you can see, it is a bit rocky. It has little, like, you know, holes and dips on the trail. So, and I'm going through them. So I'm not trying to evade any of them. So, and I'm holding the other camera as well, as you can see to, to the left of the frame. So it's still holding its stability. So I think that, you know, having this type of camera for the price, it's, it's amazing, honestly, because it's basically doing everything you need it to do, especially in shots like this, right? It's holding its own, it's holding its ground. And you might not get maybe GoPro quality. However, for me, it's the next best thing. And for the price, you just can't beat it. Like if I lose this camera, God forbid, I can always get another one at a decent price. And that fast forward motion, that's super clean shot. And that's a beautiful beach in Montauk. I don't think I, I don't think I can really swim there because I heard there were sharks around there. So not for me, but Either way, beautiful beach. I love being by the water. So thank you for taking your time and making it to the end of the video. And if you want my opinion or verdict on this particular camera, the Victor AC920, it's a great camera. I mean, you've seen it. I don't want to be biased because they are sponsoring the video. However, just look at the images. Just look at the quality that it, it has. And that should be enough for you to guess or estimate or, or bring something from you or bring something out of you to be like, is it worth buying? And if it was up to me, it would be yes. It's a great camera. And Something that small, carrying it around and it putting out that, for me, good images, it's already like a win-win. A because if you're kind of ashamed of, you know, bringing out a big camera and vlogging and, you know, if you still feel uncomfortable, it's a great choice. If you want an alternative to spending, you know, 500 plus dollars for a setup for a GoPro and things like that, it's a good choice. If you wanted to just, you know, not care about losing it or breaking it down the road and you just like, you know what, it's not really a throwaway camera, but you know what, if you lose it or break it, you won't be so hurt that it's broken compared to spending $500. I don't know about you. I'm pretty frugal. So it's still a great camera. So I'm going to put the links down below. You guys do all your research. Don't just take my word for it. I don't expect anyone to, but just check it out. Um, this is my fair share. Uh, oh, this is just me showing you my perspective and the images and everything. And you guys be the judge. So comment down below what you guys think. And I might be giving this camera away as well. So I am not 100% yet, but please follow me on my TikTok, my Instagram, my Facebook to for you know to get updated and things like that. So take care. God bless and try to stay safe with everything going on right now. Take care. Bye.